George Grenville 1763 1765. During the 1760s, Britain was experiencing a tumultuous political landscape marked by a series of significant challenges and changes. The aftermath of the Seven Years' War, 1756 to 1763, had left the British Empire with a massive national debt, which necessitated urgent measures to stabilize the economy and consolidate imperial control. Additionally, the relationship between Britain and its American colonies was becoming increasingly strained, largely due to differing perspectives on taxation and representation. Furthermore, the British political scene was characterized by intense factionalism and power struggles among influential figures, each vying for dominance and advocating for their vision of the empire's future. The prevalent sense of urgency and the need for decisive leadership created an atmosphere ripe for dynamic political maneuvering and reforms. George Grenville emerged as a formidable figure in British politics during this turbulent era, navigating the complexities of an increasingly volatile political climate. His ascent to power was marked by his keen intellect, strategic vision, and a strong commitment to addressing the pressing economic and administrative challenges facing the British Empire. Grenville's tenure as Prime Minister, which began in 1763 and lasted until 1765, was characterized by a series of ambitious policies and reforms aimed at stabilizing the British economy, redefining the relationship between the colonies and the crown, and asserting the authority of the British government. While his policies often courted controversy and criticism, Grenville's impact on British politics was undeniable, setting the stage for subsequent developments that would shape the course of the empire's history for years to come. George Grenville was born on October 14, 1712, into a prominent political family with deep roots in the British political landscape. His father, Richard Grenville, was a member of parliament, and his mother, Hester Temple, came from a family with strong ties to the Whig political faction. Growing up in this politically charged environment, George Grenville developed a keen interest in public affairs and governance from an early age. His education at Eton and Christ Church, Oxford, provided him with a solid academic foundation, nurturing his intellectual capabilities and preparing him for a future in public service. Additionally, his family's influence and connections within political circles laid the groundwork for his eventual foray into the world of British politics. Grenville's formal entry into politics began in 1741 when he was elected as a member of parliament for Buckingham. Initially aligning himself with the Whig party, Grenville quickly distinguished himself through his sharp intellect, eloquence, and a deep understanding of economic and administrative matters. His early contributions to parliamentary debates revolved around issues of financial management and colonial affairs, highlighting his growing expertise in these domains. As he continued to ascend through the ranks of the political hierarchy, Grenville's reputation for diligence and competence earned him the respect of his peers and established him as a rising star within the British political scene. His early experiences in governance and policy formulation laid the groundwork for the ambitious reforms he would later implement during his tenure as Prime Minister, showcasing his capacity for leadership and his unwavering commitment to the welfare and stability of the British Empire. George Grenville's tenure as Prime Minister, which spanned from 1763 to 1765, was characterized by a series of ambitious policies and reforms aimed at addressing the pressing economic and administrative challenges facing the British Empire. Recognizing the urgency of the national debt issue, Grenville initiated comprehensive fiscal measures to boost revenue and curb expenditures. He implemented various tax reforms, including the introduction of the controversial Sugar Act in 1764, which aimed to generate revenue by taxing colonial imports. Grenville's policies also emphasized the need for more stringent control over the American colonies, leading to heightened tensions and resistance in the colonial territories. One of Grenville's most notable and contentious policies was the enactment of the Stamp Act in 1765. The Stamp Act mandated the use of stamped paper for legal documents, newspapers, and various other printed materials in the American colonies. This act marked the first direct tax imposed by the British government on its American colonies, sparking widespread outrage and resistance among the colonists who perceived it as a violation of their rights. The Stamp Act protests served as a catalyst for the growing sentiment of colonial discontent and laid the groundwork for the American Revolution. While the Stamp Act was eventually repealed in 1766, 
its legacy continued to reverberate throughout the colonies, contributing significantly to the deteriorating relationship between Britain and its American territories. George Grenville's approach to managing the British economy during his tenure as Prime Minister was characterized by a combination of fiscal discipline and strategic financial planning. He sought to address the mounting national debt through a series of tax reforms and revenue-generating initiatives, aiming to stabilize the economy and ensure the sustainability of the empire. Grenville implemented measures to streamline the collection of customs duties and enforce stricter regulations on trade, aiming to bolster the British Treasury. While these efforts were met with resistance and criticism, Grenville remained steadfast in his commitment to fiscal responsibility, leaving a legacy of proactive financial management that influenced subsequent economic policies within the British government. George Grenville's administration faced substantial criticisms and opposition, primarily stemming from his controversial policies and their implications. His aggressive taxation policies, particularly the Stamp Act, ignited significant resistance in the American colonies, leading to widespread protests and demonstrations. This resistance reverberated within the British Parliament, where Grenville encountered opposition from both within his own party and from the opposition factions. Critics accused Grenville of overstepping his authority and implementing policies that were detrimental to the interests of both the British Empire and its colonies. Additionally, his rigorous financial measures, although aimed at stabilizing the economy, were met with disapproval from segments of the population who felt burdened by increased taxes and stringent regulations. Grenville's policies sparked significant reactions both domestically and internationally. Domestically, his taxation policies led to widespread discontent among the populace, contributing to a sense of unrest and disillusionment with the government. The Stamp Act protests in the American colonies underscored the growing rift between the colonists and the British Crown, setting the stage for heightened tensions and eventual conflict. Internationally, Grenville's policies shaped the perception of the British Empire, with some viewing the aggressive taxation as a display of imperial overreach and a disregard for the rights of the colonists. These perceptions had implications for Britain's standing on the global stage, affecting its relationships with other powers and shaping the discourse around colonial governance and imperial policies. Grenville's tenure as Prime Minister, although marked by a series of ambitious policies, was marred by controversy and opposition that ultimately impacted his political career and legacy. The backlash from the Stamp Act and other contentious measures led to Grenville's eventual resignation in 1765, signaling the end of his premiership. While his tenure was relatively short, his policies left a lasting imprint on British history, particularly in terms of colonial relations and the evolution of imperial governance. Grenville's legacy remains a subject of historical debate, with some recognizing his contributions to fiscal management and administrative reform, while others highlight the repercussions of his policies in exacerbating tensions within the British Empire. George Grenville's policies had profound and enduring implications for British governance, particularly in the context of colonial relations and imperial administration. While his aggressive taxation policies and attempts to exert greater control over the American colonies were met with resistance and ultimately contributed to the outbreak of the American Revolution, they also underscored the limitations of imperial power and the necessity of a more nuanced approach to governance. Grenville's tenure highlighted the need for a re-evaluation of the relationship between the British government and its colonial subjects, prompting subsequent administrations to adopt more conciliatory measures and engage in a more collaborative approach to governance. Additionally, Grenville's emphasis on fiscal discipline and administrative efficiency set a precedent for subsequent policies aimed at strengthening the British economy and consolidating imperial control. George Grenville's policies and approaches to governance left a lasting impact on subsequent political figures and policies within the British government. His emphasis on fiscal responsibility and revenue generation influenced the economic policies of future administrations, shaping their approaches to taxation and financial management. Furthermore, the controversies surrounding Grenville's colonial policies informed the strategies of subsequent British leaders, prompting a more cautious and diplomatic approach to colonial governance and relations. The lessons learned from Grenville's tenure contributed to the evolution of British imperial policies, fostering a more nuanced understanding of the complexities inherent in governing a vast and diverse empire. 
George Grenville's historical significance lies in his role as a key figure in the transformation of British imperial governance and the redefinition of the relationship between the British government and its colonial subjects. While his policies were met with criticism and controversy during his lifetime, they contributed to a broader reassessment of imperial strategies and paved the way for more inclusive and cooperative approaches to governance. Grenville's contributions to British politics and governance, particularly in the realms of finance and colonial administration, continue to be subjects of historical analysis and debate, underscoring his enduring influence on the trajectory of the British Empire and its place in world history. In contemporary historical scholarship, George Grenville's political actions and decisions are subject to nuanced interpretations. While some view his policies as overly assertive and detrimental to colonial relations, others recognize his efforts to stabilize the British economy and assert the authority of the British government. Contemporary perspectives often emphasize the complexities of governing a vast empire and the challenges inherent in balancing the interests of the colonists with those of the British crown. Grenville's policies are often examined in the context of their impact on the trajectory of the British Empire, particularly with regard to the evolution of colonial governance and the shaping of transatlantic relations. Grenville's policies continue to hold relevance in the context of modern governance and international relations, particularly in terms of the lessons they offer about the delicate balance between central authority and local autonomy. His approach to fiscal management and administrative reform serves as a case study for policymakers grappling with issues of national debt and economic stability. Moreover, Grenville's experiences with managing colonial territories and the challenges of maintaining imperial control provide insights into contemporary debates surrounding sovereignty, self-determination, and the complexities of governance in a globalized world. The tensions and controversies surrounding Grenville's policies serve as a reminder of the importance of diplomacy, collaboration, and empathy in navigating complex political landscapes and fostering constructive international relations. George Grenville's leadership offers valuable lessons for current and future policymakers, highlighting the significance of understanding the diverse perspectives and interests within a political system. His experiences underscore the importance of fostering inclusive governance and engaging in meaningful dialogue with stakeholders, particularly in contexts where differing viewpoints and interests are at play. Grenville's approach to fiscal discipline and financial management emphasizes the need for prudent economic policies and strategic planning, underscoring the importance of long-term sustainability and stability. Furthermore, Grenville's legacy encourages contemporary leaders to approach governance with a nuanced understanding of historical contexts, recognizing the complexities and interdependencies inherent in navigating domestic and international political landscapes. George Grenville's tenure in British politics left an indelible mark on the trajectory of the British Empire, with his policies and decisions shaping the course of colonial relations and imperial governance. While his aggressive taxation policies and assertive approach to colonial administration sparked significant controversy and resistance, they also underscored the complexities of governing a vast empire and prompted a re-evaluation of imperial strategies. Grenville's emphasis on fiscal discipline and administrative reform set a precedent for subsequent policies, fostering a more nuanced understanding of the intricacies involved in managing a global power. George Grenville's contributions to the political landscape of his time were significant, shaping the discourse surrounding colonial relations and the role of the British government in the wider world. While his policies were met with criticism and controversy, they spurred critical conversations about the nature of governance, sovereignty, and the responsibilities of imperial powers. Grenville's lasting influence extends beyond his immediate political career serving as a testament to the complexities of leadership and the enduring legacies of political decisions. His experiences continue to resonate in contemporary discussions about governance, diplomacy, and the responsibilities of global powers, highlighting the enduring relevance of historical lessons in shaping present and future political landscapes. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.